Hello everybody, back here again for a vlog a day. Today is Wednesday the 9th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day. And like the actual day I'm recording this, which is the 10th, and it is raining and gross all day. But it started off beautiful, ended up raining in the afternoon. It kind of rained off and on throughout the day, but overall, beautiful day. So, got this morning, got a couple things done, got in the hot tub, got to take care of the dog, all that good fun stuff that has to be done on a normal basis. Went to head out to start working on the fence. Well, I need to wait a little while. Make sure I don't get too annoying. I've got there like 7 a.m. running, you know, top saws and drill guns and impacts and shit, making a new gate and it upset my neighbors. So, wait a little bit. I thought, well, I'll wait till 8. It's fine. And like, I got a dog meet and greet scheduled for 9.45 a.m. And I had that weird thing of, I don't really have time to get any real work done and then go in and shower, get changed, and get ready, and go back and get worked in again. So, well, I need some more lumber. I screwed up my count. There's waiting for them to bring their boards down from the back. It took forever. So I grabbed the wrong number of boards. I just grabbed a different kind of board and also the wrong number. So I had to run back over to Home Depot. So I did that this morning. No one had a 945 appointment. Stopped by Tractor Supply. Picked up a couple new gate hinges to mount to my uh, post. Different, completely different mounting setup. So I'm like, cool, no big deal there. I'll take care of that. So I went ahead, got that done, hit Home Depot, got the boards I needed, and then saw six trucks in the parking lot today when i went in that were all sitting out there idling 68 degrees here today by the way it's perfect gorgeous weather windows down idle motors idle people sitting in the driver's seat just sitting there waiting and i'm like what the hell everybody's bitching about this price of gas and here it is there's six trucks they were still idling there when i got there and when i left they were still idling there so at least 25 30 minutes minimum they're out there just wasting fuel and yet those same people i guarantee you sometime this week We'll post on Facebook about how goddamn much you know gas costs and it's overpriced and does all this bullshit politicians. I'm like, yeah, could have shut your truck off and saved a lot of that gas or drove a Honda, you know, a whole bunch of things you can do differently, but it is what it is. So that would kind of give me a good little chuckle laugh knowing it's gonna come up. And of course later in the day it did come up on Facebook when we posting about the price of gas. And I said gas is still too cheap in this country. When you'll leave your truck idle in front of Home Depot for 30 minutes or an hour or two. And I see it all over, it's public, it's everywhere. Windows down, I understand if you're up north and it's negative seven degrees, or if you're hot down here in the summer and it's 101 and you're gonna be out there for a while, I understand, fine. But when it's 68 degrees, I see it all over the country, I see it everywhere. All, you know, from Mercedes to beat up old Honda Accords, they're all doing it, so that's what it is. Also, just that whole thing of when you're willing to run to the grocery store three or four times a week, because just, just it's only, you know, 10 minutes away, 15 minutes away. Gas ain't that damn expensive because you could easily stop at that grocery store on your way home from work one day or make your list, go shopping one day a week, It'd be fine. So it is that whole thing of what it is. But got back here to the house, waited around for them. 9.45 rolls around, no show, no nothing. 10 o'clock rolls around, I give up, say, fuck it, start working. So now I've lost a good two hours. I should have started working at eight. I lost two hours of the cool temperature. Sun comes out, gets hot. I start busting my butt. I'm like, I'm getting this thing done today. I don't care. I'm getting it done today. So, headed into it. Starts to rain. So, I'm just pulling tools up. Take a break. I don't want to get my stuff ruined. Magical tools. Rain don't really work that well. Sure enough, rain stops. It was more of a drizzle. If I got there and start busting butt again, it starts to drizzle again. I'm like, you son of a bitch. So, now the two hours of free time, it was beautiful weather didn't use because I had somebody who didn't show and didn't, you know, whatever. That I don't even me. So, I'm a little bit in the whole process. It is what it is. Flying, give up and say the hell it. I don't care. Can't get it done. So, I just out there and just start busting butt. Knock it out finally. Get it all taken care of. So, I went ahead. Got my run in. Got my shower. Ended up outside. A little bit of time to kill before my wife got home from work. Had herself some leftover manwiches. Sloppy Joe's, whatever you want to call it. And watch the NCIS. Then up on the phone with um, Grover, the company I watch dogs through that screwed up my account. They're saying I have to update my banking, but it wouldn't let us punch in the social security numbers and stuff. And they changed the system over to have both our names on it. Then said we can't have both names on it. And I'm like, you guys did this. Like, this is all your fault. So, so I got my pay bank and stuff figured out. So in theory, I should be able to get paid now from, but who knows? So got down there, headed back outside after that. Had myself a nice little cigar sold out for the evening. It was well after midnight when I came in. My lovely bride was asleep, passed out on the bed. She was tired. She went to bed or went to sleep early. And I was out there for quite a while. I came back in, woke her up as I was moving around and stuff, whatnot. And then we basically chatted a little bit, watched an episode of uh, 
Golden Girls, and then she was back to sleep in no time, and I finally laid down and called it a day. So, anyway, that's all I got for right now. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.